Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another shave and shave review on... What smells good to me? So what are we going to talk about? Well, I got this shave soap. It's not a new shave soap, but it is new to me. It is Z Pepino by Razo Rock. So this comes in a 125 ml 4.2 an ounce solid uh, shave soap. Here's what it looks like. It's a soft soap as you can see. So it's a green tobacco. It is. It's a very nice bright green tobacco scent. Uh, I really enjoy Razor Rock soaps. They're very affordable and they are performers. Um, I don't know what they do to keep the cost down so low and make such a high performing soap, but they do an amazing job. And they've been running these weekly specials where I picked this up, I think for like three bucks. Um, so I think they're doing it for a couple of weeks now where they're just running these like crazy sales and when the weeks, they've run it for like 48 hours and the sale's done. And then the next week they run it again with some different stuff. So check out their page, Italian Barber. They got some great stuff. So we're gonna use this, try this out. We are going to get our beard nice and ready using some of that Crown Supreme Glide. We are going to be using our tried and true High Mountain Badger Brush from Sterling Soap Company. Love this bad boy. We're still going to be using this new Merker razor that I got from the razor company that I won. Uh, I really like it. It's really light um, and I liked it. So I'm going to kind of try it for a couple more shaves. I still love you wet shaving products. You're still here. Um, we're going to end the shave using some of this soothing aftershave lotion by Crown. And then we're going to throw in some of this Havana Cognac aftershave that Ginger's Garden sent me a while back. This stuff smells great. So with that being said, I'm going to dunk my brush in some lukewarm water. And I'm going to put some of that Supreme Glide on, so. Cue the music. So this video is being shot on Friday the 22nd of November. I just started a 10-day vacation. We got Black Friday coming up. There's going to be a lot of sales for shaving companies. So I highly suggest if you've been kind of on the fence about uh, wet shaving, buy some from a little bit of uh, all the companies that you've seen, the reputable ones. And uh, try it out. I'm telling you, you're never going to go back to that cartridge raging bullshit. Um, those cartridge razors suck. This is the way to go. Good smelling stuff, high performance, and it's affordable. So, with that being said, let's whip some of this up and see how it performs. Cue the music. So not a thirsty soap, um, just like I said, I dunked my brush in a little bit of lukewarm water and activated that soap, made a nice rich lather. Uh, it is a very nice bright green tobacco. Uh, I like the more cured like cigar pipe tobacco, but it's still a really nice pleasant scent. So I'm really enjoying the scent profile. It does definitely project. Um, like I said, it lathered quite nicely. So let's take this for a test drive. Cue the music. Nice slickness, some nice cushion. Scent profile, like I said, is very strong. Um, 
so far I'm digging it. All right, let's make some more soap and do a second pass. Cue the music. I just saw this shave soap hanging from my ear and it reminded me of something about Mary. I don't know if you see that or not. Anyways, okay, last pass folks, here we go. There you have it, folks. So, uh, it performed great. For the cost of $3, it's an excellent buy. Skin always feels good on these soaps by Razor Rock. They make them quite well. Uh, the scent profile, although it does smell good, it's not my favorite out of their line. It's not my favorite out of shave soaps and, and you know, a green tobacco, but you know, tobacco in itself, I always like to try out and see how everyone makes, because everyone does a little bit different. So um, on, a, on a rating of performance, I've given an eight scent profile. Uh, it does smell good, uh, just because it's not my favorite, uh, I'd still give it like a nine out of 10. Uh, would I buy it at a full price? Probably not, um, but it's a good soap. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm going by my own personal opinion, which is I like a darker tobacco scent. So if I was seeking out a tobacco scent, I would want it to be darker. Um, like, yeah, so anyways, all right. So we're gonna finish with some of the Soothing Aftershave Lotion by Crown, this stuff's great. If you check it out, how it, watch how quick it just absorbs in. And it is, all the way in. So any little burning sensation, you might want to get that checked out at a doctor, but in regards to shaving on your face, this just takes it away. Your skin, it's just a great finisher. And then we're gonna finish with a Savannah Cognac aftershave by Ginger's Garden. If you haven't checked out Ginger's Garden, um, they make a whole bunch of different, oh, this smells really good. Mm, nice boozy notes, that cognac. And the, the, actually the, the tobacco in this too is a little bit more of a green tobacco. So that's why I actually paired it with uh, the shave soap. But this does smells good. Definitely smells good. You need to check out Ginger's Garden. All right, folks, that will do it on the shave. Uh, make sure you follow all these great companies. You got Razor Rock, you got Crown, you got Sterling, um, you got Ginger's Gardens, great companies. Great companies all the way around. Great people too. So I will see you again for another shave or fragrance review. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures. And I'll see you soon. Take care.